Mark Short is getting closer in second. Toby De Bias is third, a spy mistake uh, in four. Vic De Brie five, a Tonic shot. And they've got five more to jump. And it's Desert Orchid, the leader, by three lengths to Toby Tobias, the young pretender, in second place. And this is five out. Toby Tobias is in second if he makes a mistake. Desert Orchid, the leader, Toby Tobias is second. They're clear of the third place horse, the fellow. And Celtic Shot is staying on. They've got four to jump, but Desert Orchid, a brilliant leap. Toby Tobias is second, the fellow, and Celtic Shot now, back in third place. And they come down towards the third from home. At the rear of the field, a spy has been pulled up. And uh, Nick the Brief has been pulled up and this desert orchid out in front clear by two toby tobias those ear words ringing in my ears he won't be given a hard race but he's got desert orchid in his sights and he's trying to close back in third place it's the fellow and celtic shot and it's desert orchid he's got his ears pricked he's been here before a record fourth win in the king george he's gone clear by five they've got three to jump desert orchid oh what a leap Toby Tobias in second, the fellow is third, and he's got two to jump. And it's Desert Orchid clear by eight. He's got the race one now, two to jump. Desert Orchid comes to it. He's been here before, and it's Desert Orchid clear by ten. He's pushed out, but don't worry, nothing's getting closer. Toby Tobias is in second. The crowd's going absolutely wild. They've got one to jump, and it's Desert Orchid. He comes to take it, and he's jumped it brilliantly. This was his race. Desert Orchid, what history being made, rolls of applause, the king's in his counting house, Desert Orchid's blooming, he's been here before, Desert Orchid the winner, marvellous, Desert Orchid has won it, Toby Tobias a brave race for second place. Rolling ball is the only one who's really out of it. Any of the others could win, and it's Barton Bank that just has the edge. Young Huster within half a length, and Travado is a faller there. It's Bart, the horse is okay. Barton Bank leading. So too is uh, Jamie Osborne. He's about to get up. Barton Bank on the inside of the fellow, poised there uh, to take the last ditch in second place. And then in third place, pushed along, is uh, Young Huster. Nevada Gold is behind these, and Docklands Express and Bradbury Star is still pulling double, and Zeta's lad isn't out of it. And they go down towards the uh, fifth from home. Barton Bank led there from Young Hustler in second place. The fellow is in third and, and still uh, close enough, if good enough. This is the fourth last. And it's Barton Bank. He's over safely, God knows how, by a length to Young Hustler in second place. Then the fellow in third, Bradbury Star and Declan Murphy poised in fourth and travelling uh, ominously well. They start to turn in. Zeta's lads getting closer. Docklands Express, Norman Williamson getting serious. Nevada Gold running a big race for a rank outsider and they start to turn in and Barton Bank and Adrian Maguire on the 99 winner mark has the edge from on the outside Young Huster and the fellow and Docklands Express and Bradbury Star is still pulling double and this is the third last and Barton Bank is over it Bradbury Star a slight mistake Young Huster and the fellow and the Bradbury Star with a red cap and Zeta's lad five in line would you believe it as they come to take the second last and what a terrific jump Zeta's lad was the only one a slightly uncomfortable and Barton Bank has the edge from the fellow and Bradbury Star, who's yet to make his challenge. Here comes Bradbury Star on the stand side to come and leap the final fence in the lead, but Barton Bank won't be denied. The fellow, the Frenchman's cooked, and it's Barton Bank and Bradbury Star doing battle as they race up towards the line. Barton Bank digging deep, holding up. Bradbury Star, one more challenge. Not enough. Barton Bank takes it. Barton Bank the winner. Side of hot shots turning right handed, then with just under a circuit left to cover, and now onto the water jump. And it's still first gold, bidding to make all the running here and win his second King George, kicking King the favorite in second place. Edredon Blur, then King Cliff as Zerti Ops had a very easy run round. Just a question of whether his stamina will hold out. We'll find out pretty soon. Behind the front five, then Seaball getting a bit closer. So too the real bandit on the inside. And these are trapped by Luan Miguel and Calling Brave. Then from Lord Sam 
uh, still out wide and has lost ground. Tuchev has dropped right to the tail as they jump the open ditch. And the leader's over safely. They are all over. Tuchev has completely lost the plot and is uh, tailing off rapidly. But meanwhile, it's kicking King. Tuchev has pulled up and it's kicking King from first gold as Zertiop now moves into third place. And these three have just gone a little way clear of Kingscliff in fourth place. Seabold and then the real bandit in the green sleeves into about sixth. Lua Miguel now running on from the rear in red sleeves. Then Edredon Blur has lost his position followed by Calling Brave. They've got seven left to jump, four in the back straight, three in the home straight, coming to the first of the sequence, and it's Kicking King over from first gold. Azertiop, King's Cliff, then Seaball trying to get on terms, followed by Luan Miguel and the Real Bandit. They're well and truly sorted out. This is an open ditch they're coming to. Kicking King takes it OK, about three lengths to Azertiop. The front two in the market are first and second. First gold can't go with them at this stage in third, and then King's Cliff, the Real Bandit, Seaboard and Loire Miguel over the next kicking. King, oh, took a chance there. Azerti of about three lengths down on landing, and they seem to be moving steadily clear of the others. Two very good horses. Here's the last in the back straight, and it was kicking King. Azerti of is just pushed along on landing there by Ruby Walsh, and the gap now is about five lengths, and they are clear as they run right handed out of the back straight. Running on in third is King's Cliff. He could yet stay on strongly. Then another gap to the real bandit. First gold, Seaborn and Luan Miguel kicking King by six lengths, turning for home, and it's looking a bit desperate for Azertiop in second, and a leering look round there on Kicking King by Barry Garrity as they run down towards the third last. Kicking King comes in to take it. Azertiop jumps in well in second, but will really have to dig deep. Kingscliff is back in third, racing towards the second last. Kicking King comes towards it with a seven or eight leg lead over Azertiop. He can't make any impression. Kingscliff is third. The they're a mile clear of the others and racing down towards the final fence is Kicking King and Barry Garrity, a star emerging here at Kempton Park. Kicking King short, oh, and a hash of it! Barry Garrity has to sit very tight indeed. And Sergiop and Kingscliff both trying to close. Kicking King, he's lost all momentum. He's got 100 yards left to go and is Kicking King by three lengths. Kicking King will stay on and win the King George despite that. straight for the final time and the purple cap of Ruby Walsh on Cordo Star is fractionally the leader there. Tanaka Ra in second place. Captain Chris is beginning to struggle. Summersby, long run, a masterminded uh, snapping at the heels of the leaders. Another plain fence. Cordo Star, masterminded, a bad error there. Dropping back into fifth place. Here is the final open ditch. Number 14, and it's Cordo Star to Nakara with then long run the orange sleeve. Summersby in the green and maroon jacket behind him. Captain Chris was over it in fifth position masterminded is next the final fence in the back straight Corto star is leading by two lengths at it now got over it safely long run in second summersby third and then captain chris in fourth nakara's weakened masterminded behind those they're heading towards the home turn then and they have three to jump and in search of a fifth king george Corto star is going to lead into the straight and he's going better than anything in the race long run is in second place three lengths behind them under pressure. Captain Chris in the blue is staying on. Summersby's two lengths by and in fourth position. But they're into the home straight now. Three to jump. Corto start, the third last. Over it safely. He's three or four lengths cleared. A long run. Captain Chris and Summersby. Heading with two fences to jump then. And Corto Star still has this about three or four length advantage at the second last. He's at it now. He's jumped it perfectly. Long run in second position. Captain Chris in third. Summersby's behind this in fourth place. It's a five or six length lead. He's rewritten the record book so many times. Cordo Star. Long run is still trying to close on him. The last. Cordo Star. Two lengths ahead to long run in second position. They're heading towards the line. The steeplechaser of a lifetime. Cordo Star is in front. Long run's closing, but Cordo Star has done it. He's won five King Georges.
away to his left, but still has the lead. Q card now is the nearest pressure in second. Silviniaco Conti in third. Smad place in fourth. Don Cossack now will jump in fifth place, followed by Alfarov. Now being ridden along Valsolido, and so too is Irish Cavalier, last of the eight. So they race on now towards the final three quarters of a mile of the King George, and Votor will lead them at the final open ditch. He got in a little tight. He still leads by a length and a half to Q card in second. Don Cossack comes back onto the scene in third. Smad Place is pushed along for the first time. Four out. Votor was really good over that. And he's now established a lead of two lengths over Cucard in second. Don Cossack, all over one now, is being ridden back in third. So too Smad Place in fourth. Alfaroff is back in fifth. Silviniaco Conti sees his crown slipping. He's dropped back to six as the field turn for home. They've got three to jump in the King George. And Ruby Walsh, bidding for a record sixth win in the race, has the lead on the Irishman Votor. Cucard is ridden. Don Cossack is ridden. Alfaroff tries to to stay on. Smad Place is next. They're over the third from home and Votor is still in hand. He leads by nearly three lengths. Q card gallantly tries to rally to the outside. Don Cossack, two out for Votor. He's over safely. Down in second, Don Cossack. He got to within two lengths. Q card now staying on. Alfaroff is back in third. They have one more fence to take in the King George. It is Votor trying to repel Q card. The final fence. Votor led by about a length. Q card is putting up a mighty fight, but it is Votor and Ruby Walsh out in front. Q card is coming. He's coming hard. Here comes the line. Too close to call. in third and then surname Black Op lost in translation real steel he's just beginning to ride along Clans Clandes Oboe, he's hit a bit of a flat spot and waiting patiently at the back of the field and again, Clandes Oboe got him very close to fence number 13 and so too lost in translation who now comes under a ride and gets a reminder Final ditch, five out. Frodon still leads the way. Santini over in second. St. Calvados, Black Op, Real Steel. Clande Zobo still being driven, but he's now ahead of Surname and also waiting patiently. Lost in translation, drops out the back of the field. Surname is now beginning to be ridden. Last the main body of the field as Black Op has dropped away and now they're beginning to make the turn. There was also a mistake at the fourth last by Santini and that appears to have put him very much now on the back foot. And it's Frodon. He's got many of them working in behind now. He leads by nearly two lengths to St. Calvados in second. Can he stay the trip? Clande Zobo has been off the bit for a long time, but he's hanging on in there. He doesn't want to see his crown go. Pulled up surname at the back of the field. Lost in translations also being pulled up. They're over the third from home, and Frodon still has the lead to St. Calvados. And then Clande Zobo waiting patiently from a long way back. Two out in the King George, and Frodon still has the lead with Bryony Frost. The lead is about two and a half lengths to St. Calvados. Waiting patiently begins to fly in the hands of Brian Hughes. Has he got enough time to beg back Frodon? Frodon over the final fence, led by three lengths. Waiting patiently, he's running out of time inside the final half furlong. Frodon is out in front for his biggest prize of all. Frodon has taken the game. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.